Hi, it's me, Daniel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. I hope you had a great day today and I, have, you, I bet you have seen the title already is What do you do when you have nothing to test? And maybe your reaction is exactly like that. It's like, ha, he's funny. What is he talking about? Like, how can testers have time to do something else than testing? I mean, especially working in agile teams with a lot of developers, you know, maybe four, five, six developers that are working in your team, you have to deal with all the topics that comes come along with testing, test automation, advocating for quality, exploratory testing and whatnot. And it's like, Haha, come on, that's a stupid idea, Daniel, right? Maybe not. Let's find it out. Welcome to my video today. And yeah, let's jump right into the topic. What can you do in case you have spare time? And it happened to me that I sometimes had spare time, especially when there was like a team with multiple software testers and developers with a quality mindset that were eager to help out in testing. So let's take a look what you can do when you would like to know more or what when you would like to do more with your time when you don't need to test in a cycle or whatnot. So here are a couple of topics to consider and to think about. So first thing that I always tell to people is like, reflect on your current work. What are you doing? So how is the current testing process? What can be improved? Is there something or was there something in the past that worked really well? Something that can be improved? That's the right spot for you to start working on it to get it better the next time. Yeah. So what can be improved in terms of test cases in case you write test cases? What are the things that you can improve over there? Is your test strategy up to date or is, has something changed? Do you need to adapt something? What is missing in the team? Ask yourself all these kind of questions and to reflect on the things on the on the past work that you have done to see how you can improve it, right? So reflecting is really important. Or maybe you can support other teams. Maybe you can see it in the neighbor team that they are like already running around, not screaming, hopefully not, but like really like, okay, we are busy, we are stressed, we need help. Go and help them. Ask for help, offer your help, and then they will be happy. So this is all something you can do. But reflecting is so important on a daily basis, I would say, but on a on a regular basis to, to improve yourself in terms of processes and the way you work. Of the most obvious, right? I mean, study new skills. Yes, use the time to learn some new testing techniques. If you're not into exploratory testing, go ahead, do exploratory testing. If you'd like to know more about, I don't know, non-functional testing go that way so depending on the skills that you think that might are helpful for you in your industry in your company in your context learn them yeah learn about new testing tools check the industry what are new trends out there what can you do in order to improve your technical skills for example and improving skills like communication is also something that you can do not only like the hard skills like testing techniques tech test uh, test tools but also the soft skills or like the i would say normal skills like communicating, communication is so important for testers. Presentation skills, learn to give a talk, prepare a little slide, a slide deck, talk in front of people to actually get rid of your, I don't know, maybe your, your shyness, your like, your, your silent move, moves and stuff like Present, give talks in front of people, it helps you a lot in communicating. Do some time management training in case you have the feeling that you're always stressed out and, and for things that you're always running late and stuff, maybe you are like not too focused on the things that you're doing. Do a time management training, for example. Yeah, so take the time and study. Maintain your existing tools, also something that you can do. So check your current tool stack. What tools do you have? Are there tools that you don't use anymore? Are you not really happy with tools? investigate other tools, learn about more tools, see how they can benefit or how they benefit for you in, in the future. See if you can improve the tooling. It's also important if you know that ah, there was something. I remember last time I wrote this automation script, I left a note like, hey, this needs to be refactored. The perfect time. Replace tools, also important. I mean, this might be on a bigger scale, but if you notice like, okay, I use a little tiny helper tool that is doing X, Y, Z, but I'm not happy with it, but there is another tool I can try out. Perfect, go ahead. Yeah. Um, improve automation, also pretty obvious. And the things that I've seen the most when, when people tell me like, hey, I don't have anything to test, they work on automation usually, right? 
because there's always something to improve. There's always something to get better. There's always something to add more, more automation on different layers. More doesn't mean to be better in that case, right? So please keep that in mind. Um, to just think about automation on different layers and also maybe to move something from a UI layer to an API layer or to a backend layer to speed up things in terms of execution. Yeah, I'm already rushing to the next one. And also man, something that I, I mentioned a couple of seconds ago is non-functional testing. Yay, finally, finally, you have the time to perform non-functional testing. I bet it was always on your heart to test for, I don't know, um, I think we come to that in a second, so take the time to perform it. That's what I wanted to say, because you can do it now, finally. You learn some uh, something about security testing, or you can perform security testing. You can do load performance testing, you can do usability testing or accessibility testing, and finally, you have the time to perform it and to learn about it. And that's cool, and that's great, yeah? So that's something you can also consider. Ooh, the bad word, documentation. Of course, you can improve the product documentation. You can help your product manager, you can help the team to write documentation, to improve the test documentation, the development documentation, anything that you can document to make the product better, better understandable from an internal and external stakeholder point of view. Go ahead, do it. Grab a cup of coffee, a tea, and just go and write the documentation. Yeah, And I'm already done, oh my God, I'm rushing through today. Um, so from a summary point of view is there's always something to do. Yeah. So that's why I was the, the laughing gift at the beginning is like, yeah, when, when, when is there any ever the time to actually do nothing? I mean, that's not, that's not happening to be honest. Yeah. So summary, use the free time to do the things that you always wanted to do. Yeah. In best case, you have already a plan or now if you have the time, make a plan. Or in, as I just said, in best case, you have a list of topics already prepared. Yeah. So I don't know what I do usually is like I have a list of things that I can do when I have time. And then I go, go and check the list, prioritize them based on the most significant impact or importance for the current team, for the current product statement and stuff and to see and work on them. Yeah. So that's, that's something if you have that perfect. Yeah. And then just take the time and do it. And one thing that's just coming to my mind is that I haven't put on the slides here is if you have time and if you're in office or even in a remote setup, why not talk to people? Give them a call like, hey, hey, Peter, hey, Zenra, you have five minutes for me. Let's have a quick call. Let's talk about stuff. And in, in, it doesn't need to be always like work related. Maybe it's personal related stuff to to learn more about each other. And this helps a lot to, to improve the work relationship. And that's really important these days, especially if you're working in a remote only setup. Yeah. So already done with the video, I would really love to know if you ever had the situation of you're out of work. Let me know in the comments below. Um, would love to hear that. And also I would love to hear your ideas on the things that you are doing or that you would like to suggest to people what they can do in their spare time, if they have spare time. Thank you. Leave a like, leave a subscription and share it with your network. Thank you for coming by today. See you soon and bye bye.